Hey there, and welcome back to Trainwreck, an educational monster train series where you watch me struggle at around 200 pack shards. Continuing our eternal saga, as we've always mentioned before, we continue with some 200 shard runs. I, you know, I don't know why I started with this screen open. Oh, I know why. I started recording this episode and then coughed without the mute button working, and I really didn't want that in the first 15 seconds of this video, so I just restarted. But anyway, this is interesting because I've been thinking about this a lot ever since talking to uh, Gabriel, Voyix, and Cranberry on that little, like, pseudo-podcast episode we did recently, which I linked on my Discord server if anyone wants to see it. It's in the notifications channel, but... Basically, we talked about the state of the game after however long it's been and what we think about it after having played so much and kind of our aspirations for it and things like that. And one of the topics that Cranberry brought up was actually this 200 shard series, the idea of is this actually the meta that people want to play? And I think there's a lot of exploratory kind of people trying this out. Uh, it's obviously doing pretty well for the channel. People are enjoying it. I will be frank, I mean, I've said this as much in that video, I don't actually think the game is as good at 200 shards as it is at 100 shards. I think what's the most interesting thing about this for me as a player and for you all as the viewers, I mean, I'm speaking for you here based on what you've all said, is watching me learn something new, right? Whereas I walk into the 100 shard series and I know when to be super overconfident. I know when to be very cautious because I'm very well versed in how strong I need to be at a certain point, how strong I am, things like that. That's not true at 200 shards. So I'm kind of playing a lot of things like I'm walking on eggshells. That results in a very different experience from a viewership perspective. It's probably a lot more interesting. So I totally appreciate that, and that's one of the reasons I continue this series, because it's interesting to do something new here. I think it's valuable, I think it's also doing well on the channel, and people are interested in it. So I'm continuing with it. That said, I really don't think that's kind of the end state for the game. I don't think that should be the aspirational, quote-unquote, meta that people aim towards. I think that the 100 shard meta is a much more refined experience, because it's very obviously what the designers developed around, and more things are viable, so your game time is, is liable to be more varied overall. You're going to experience more unique things, and you get to make some harder decisions and win some harder runs. So that's kind of an interesting opinion. I'm not going to go into all the details. Check out that video if you want to know more. If someone reminds me, I'll remember to put it in the comments or the description below so people can find it there, but most likely I will forget. But someone can poke me and I'll get it. Anyway, that's as much as I'm going to say here. It's a little more topicking than I normally do on the 200 shard series, but here we are. Let's see, our previous run was incredible. I honestly cannot emphasize enough how good that run is. That run is a full-on caps lock cruise control for cool video. We had consumer of crowns with flickers liquor so that I could play them put draft inside the consumer i had draft inside of a quick multi-striking rail beater this thing these things were nonsense we had dark calling everything aligned we had stealth tomb with a spell chain hold over hallowed halls chilling at a cool five ember cost but we were just playing it all anyway thanks to flickers liquor turns out solving ember like that is disgustingly good that run went out of control. We were in such dominant position that there's really very little I could have asked for beyond that. Dark Calling was kind of useful. It wasn't the Dark Calling carry that I'm used to having, but it was what we got. Also, some interesting takes there on the combustible wax. Uh, I wasn't sure if that would be good or not. It turned out with the line I went with, it ended up being good because it gave me a solid relentless choice, made my purifying cleanse very strong. But if I were going for a more classic Dark Calling run, I think it would have been a bad choice. So it's an interesting decision point to make there, as in, is that something I want to do or not? Kind of tough. It's going to be a hard decision to make going forward if I see that kind of thing again, right? It's just going to be a case-by-case -case basis. So, However, now we're going on to Spine Chief, which is incredible. I love me some Spine Chief. I'm ready to send it. Give me Decayer today. I feel like doing it. Decayer with, I don't know, restores. Just hard send it. Let's go. But yeah, I think that's all I've got for you. So hey, 
Uh, as always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's play some Monster Train. That really is becoming kind of like the default that my brain goes to, isn't it? I'm not sure how I feel about that. We'll, we'll try to vary it up a bit. Oh my god. Oh my god, they are doing it. We're doing it. Okay, I hope you're all doing well today. I'm pretty hype. We just got the clan combo I literally asked for, so that's hype. And I, if I see Decayer here, we're, we're going for it. We are so sending it. I'm so excited. Cool. All right. Well, let's get in. We are default Wormkin, default Awoken. Probably, man, this is one of the strongest clan combos in game, in my opinion. You just get so many good things here. This is incredible for Corruptor. This is incredible for Decayer. This is just incredible. This is incredible for bloody infector too the other one because you can give you have multi-striking infusions that are easily accessible for keeper and echoes or whatever the heck and you have some forced movement on this it's not great it's called restoring retreat but it's something you can do something with it you can truly do some absolute chicanery here amazing we're facing Days Talos, let's see, Rage Fell, and Diligent Seraph. That's horrifying. But if we're playing Reap, it's not going to matter. We blast them. So I definitely want to lean Reap if we can. Our starting cards are Bogfly, Razor Sharp Edge, and Total Recall is also here. The first two are good. That last one is probably getting removed, but we'll see. Temple's on two, three, four, scary. Okay, we got seven and eight too. So that's actually five good temples. Woof. Whenever you see the initial three, as temples, you're scared because that means those could be your only ones. But here we do have some backloaded temples, so we get a lot of choices actually, which is great news. We have a dupe on the steel shop side on eight. It's fine, nothing outrageously good here. Good magic shop on seven with the vortex and the horde, love that. There is a steel shop available if I need it. Another good magic shop on six. And this is also, good magic shops, again, lean towards a decay or start, right? Because this means I can just make zero cost spell chain restores or something else stupid. So those are good choices for us to have. Uh, and this is also some people wonder why I actually look so hard at everything here. The answer is this points like this, like having good magic shops back to back on six and seven. These are moments where I can look at this and say this champion choice is superior to another because of this. So there's there's real value in reviewing the whole map here as opposed to just glossing through the early game or something like some folks do. So let's see. We do have a dupe on six with the caverns if I desperately need it. Another good magic shop on five. Ooh, baby, that's solid. And that one's opposed only by a trinket shop, which maybe is okay because Wormkin trinkets do rock, but we'll see. Steel shop on four with a Wormkin banner. Solid. Dupe on three. Curious. Then we have an Awoken Banner Magic Shop, and we have Awoken Banner Steel Shop. Okay, so if I get the Awoken Banners, I could do, what am I thinking, Decayer with a, what, Awoken Hollow in front would be pretty good, I imagine. We could do that, yeah. We'll see what champion we get. Refracting Lens, Tempered Talisman. Well, I think I will take... Ooh, Tempered Talisman is surprisingly okay with all these restores, but because I have so many cards that don't benefit... I think I'm going to take Refracting Lens. This is going to pay off in spades. We take the money. Give it to me. No! No Decayer. Oh, I am crushed. Monster Train, how could you? Well, let's say I go Corruptor instead. How do I feel about this? Double Awoken Banner, no Wormkin Banner. You can't go Infector here. You have to go Corruptor. That sucks. That sucks a lot. I, you know, it's fine. We'll win, I'm pretty sure, but it's not my favorite. I don't like it. We have, what, seven pings here? Because I can also do it with razor sharps. So, sure, I'll take the unit draft here. No problem. I'm always scared about that with the, you know, these things, but you just pop them and it's okay. Okay, well, gross. I do want another... Fog fly here. I think I need. It's tough, man. It is. It is a difficult decision to make here. I don't think I can afford to greed here. I think I have to kill one of the ones in the front, and then we charge up top. I think. I don't think I have a lug the luxury of taking that money. Yeah, we're taking a bunch of damage here, so I could. Two. 
think I, I can't pop the back guy, unfortunately. I do need to charge up st up top and try to keep my floor alive. This is not looking good. Okay, I can... Woof. I hate that. 23. How much am I taking here? This is 15 plus... Disgusting. 15 plus 14, 29. I can reduce this to 24. Well, that's not great. Okay, so I think I'm going to pop one of these fellows, which kills two and keeps the bog flies alive. Is there a way, if I get to 23, does this do it? 5, 10, 14, 24. I actually literally lose this to this aggressive amulet here. Okay, so we're gonna restore up top. I think I need to refract, I think I actually might need to total recall here, which is sad, but I think it's good. I need to kill enemies downstairs. What's in here? Am I, if I'm scared enough, I click total recall for refracting lens. That's a toughie. I mean, I don't, this restore doesn't save my life, so there's really no reason to, so I guess I will. And they, they get consumed, but I can't play them. So goodbye, chief. We take, what, the three? I need to kill these two enemies. Okay. One, two. I, I believe I have to put this train steward down and take this three. And you may ask why. If I do not draw a train steward next turn, it is a GG. So I have to do that. Okay, how do I improve these numbers? Uh, a little bit more damage if I put a regen in, for sure. Okay. I gain... How many rounds is this? It's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. It's hard to measure. It's 6, 6, 6. So he gets 4 in the back. So I gain 40 by tossing him this razor sharp. Cool. That was also a consume, which is healing. So it's actually good to play this consume fracture here. Yeah, I trade up on the weight of contrition. We take damage, but we don't lose. I think refracting lens, man. This was a bad combat, but we're going to get through it. 14 total taken. That's fine. That's okay. Echo Snare is both purple and consume, which is great. Although Bounding Echoes has to be the choice here. I just need, it's a good consume and it makes purple things, which we like. A uh, purple razor sharp? Well, sure. I mean, it's a purple razor sharp. I think that's good enough for me. Great. Unit wise, okay, we get a something. We get an Animus of Will, which is really good here actually. Okay, yeah, we take an Animus of Will. That's good for Corruptor, which is what we have, yes. All right, well, that was scary, but we got it. I don't think it's magic here. No, I don't think so. I think I could take a an Awoken Hollow Infusion or something. I could do a lot of things here. I don't have to take that Infusion right away. Yeah, let's go right. I think I wanna see another unit here. Multi-Strike is solid here, that's good. That's good to see. St oh, uh, Steel Singer? Well. Steel Singer, multi-strike in the shop, and an Animus of Will. Okay, well, uh, that's a... Well, all right. Sh sure, sure, of course. I, hard, hard to say no to that. I mean, I do this right away. It is immediately valuable, yeah? It also guarantees I can actually play this in the right way. Now, of course, the biggest challenge here is how in the bloody blazes am I going... Do I do this now? Actually, hold up. Would I take an Animus of Speed over this? Maybe. Spell Chain? I mean, I, this would... Oh, man. If, if only this were... Uh, if only this were Decayer. But... Okay, okay. Think about this a little bit. I can do this now. Go to 35... It's pretty bloody good. I think it's good because it immediately allows me to get it on turn one. And I'm going to do that. 
Okay, Steel Singer, let's let's go, champ. I will take that spell chain, I suppose. It's good. Yeah, we'll spell chain a restore here. Because reasons. Okay. I could purge. Purge is not bad. But going to 60 right now is way too aggro. We'll move on. This is gonna be very strange. We'll just put it that way. I don't really need this unit draft, so I'm going to skip it, I think. I have an infusion on a steel singer right now. I just need to charge this guy, pretty much. So, fair. Fair. Well, I'm going to stick him on top floor, because I think that's correct. And Chief, I guess, lives on middle? It'll have to do. Well, fracture on middle, I suppose. I will razor sharp up top. I think it's correct to get something in there. Sure. Chief is just going to implode, I suppose. It's fine. We take the restores. They are incredible. I'll put a spine chief buddy down. I'm going to spike out the back there. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Get rid of that spikes, dude. It's fine. I suppose I bounding echoes here. No reason not to. I take a razor sharp in this moment. We get that. I will kill a the spikes enemy. I suppose suppose I just shoot the boss now? Yeah. Okay. Now I just need to draw restores, basically. Okay. Here we go, bud. It's one, two... And then I, what? Play Total Recall here? And just burn something for some HP back, and it's fine? It's not pretty, but it's something. Oof. Restore restore we still get the heck beaten out of us good grief really i'm so used to how fast this guy scales in base game what is this it's like what 252 man so many shards 185 67 here 67 means four hits which is what? I mean, I'm dead, actually. Okay, so I had a wolf. 200 shards, my dudes. 200 shards. These are things I do not do. Monster train. So it's what? Spine Chief needs to be respected more, is what this tells me. So Spine Chief goes up and we... Steel Singer Mill. Okay. This was not the way I expected to have to play this, but it will do. We just Razor Sharp him, which is value. We spike out... The guy downstairs? Yeah. Odd. Okay, we charge middle a whole bunch. I do play the bog fly up top. Put that down. Okay. Huff. I. Rough, man. Rough, indeed. Well. Do I load up the top floor? I mean, I think I do need to at least kill one of them. I need to shoot the spikes guy for sure. Okay, it's tough, but sure, I take that five. Is this going to be better? I do want to... Bog fly up top. I think it matters a lot. And then I can do... I have options here. I could give up on some scaling here, which kind of sucks, but might be necessary in exchange for total recall, which I think might be necessary. I think it is. Okay, I can take one consumer down here. That's fine. And then one consumer up top. Also fine. We get it to 41 here. Is that good enough? It gets us through it. It does. This was a weird one, but yeah, we get through it. He takes one round and we're fine. It's weird because normally at 100 shards, is this actually the first time I'm doing Steel Singer at 200? It might be. At 100 shards, it's, what we did was right the first time, where you throw away Chief and you just let Steel Singer charge up top. 
but this enemy was so powerful that it didn't work out. I'm gonna snag this Echo Transfer green. I'm gonna take Glimmer here. I need more green cards that heal. I say green, I mean that produce green effects. I don't need Pyre Healing. A dupe here would be premature. If I had gotten the minus one in that restore, I might have taken it, but I'll go to the right here because I could set up a really strong X5. For sure, put that minus one in that restore. That's a double Ember Swing. Really good dupe. Look at the Awoken banner. There's a quick here. That was something I also considered, holding off on the Animus of Will for an Animus of Speed, possibly, but it's hard to say, right? You just don't know. Husk Hermit. I think we take this Husk Hermit and put this in behind Chief for the time being. Yeah, this will be a good choice for the moment. A plus 30 and a Purge? I should plus 30 this Glimmer, maybe? I don't know. That's a little aggro. We're going way hard on shards. I don't love that. But so remove consume. I actually don't like remove consume here either. Let's hope for an X5 or something. Okay, no X5. Weathered Cold Stones is redundant with refracting lens. Penitent Remains is not that great. Ember Stasis, I could put to good use here, but I'm... It puts me behind on restore procs. So I think what we should do here is... Skip them. I think we do. Even though that helps in the Diligent, I think we need to focus a lot on charging my Steel Singer up. Okay, that was unfortunate. I'm going to plus 10 a Restore here. I'm going to re-roll this. Minus 1. Oh, I'm giving up this holdover. See, if I had taken that 25, it wouldn't have changed anything, right? It's fine. It is fine. I'm going to minus 1 that Restore... Yes, it's okay. I'm going to 20 consume nothing, because I'm going to put the plus 30 in that glimmer, which would have been really nice to have on holdover, but, you know, it's fine. Monster train. I should burn total recall here. This is just, I don't, see, this is exactly 200 shard problems, right? I don't, this is not healthy to be this high on shards here. There's no reason I should not be doing this. And yet, I feel as though I have to in order to get to 200 at all. And a 75 shard Talos is going to cause problems for scaling on Steel Singer. It just is. So, it's it's rough, my mans. And this is Rage Talos. So, I mean, it's what? I have to put the stupid thing downstairs and then we face tank it with a train steward? And then what, Chief? And then Bogfly here, and we load up this middle guy to kill him, and it's hopefully the best we can do. I was going to put that with Chief, but there's no real great combo here. So it's now time for, what? Look at that. Zero costers, my dude. Steel Singer, and we load him up to the best of our ability, and we leave in that Purge copy. We lose Steel Singer, sadly, which means we're super losing... Yeah, we're super losing Chief now. Not good. I'm going to take the heal. I am going to Razor Sharp one of the enemies, so we at least swing here. Which is something. Off. Okay, Bounding Echoes. Fine. I wish to... Glimmer downstairs. I have to. This is going to be a problem if I don't. Fortunate. I will take the... Or I will total recall. I get the glimmer back, which I can consume. This is valuable here. I will do it. And then I will restore and heal. Good. It's fine. Woof. Oh, great. We don't actually get this, do we? Well. Tough. I mean, I can put the bog fly in front and save some of this, but I can't save all of it. It will have to do. I am taking the Echo Transfer here. I will Razor Sharp for sure. I think I should drop the back fellow behind here in this back guy down below 40 to save two life. And then we load up the boss because this is already three hits. It's fine. Yeah, that'll be okay. Fine. We take a bunch of hits, but it's okay because we're using Refracting Lens as a kind of disgusting pad here. We just load up upstairs to the best of our ability. Hit the boss. Okay. 
All right, well, we get through this. We've got the scaling necessary to do so. We do enough damage. I would rather make sure to see if I can get my regen to proc out, so we're going to be all right. Sure, I do get the spell chain here, which is solid. Cool. Four rounds. Eh, close enough. Okay. How do we do? We doing better now? Where are we looking at? 29 by 3? Kind of sucks, but it's fine. Wormkin Spike is fine, but it's not a green heal. I'm going to skip it. Shattered Shell. No, I mean, yeah, no, we skip these. Space. You could double space and then eventually get a Steel Singer behind Chief. But that just doesn't feel like it's going to be helpful, right? Just like, just think about that for a moment and imagine, how am I making that work, right? Chief is too big. This run actually looks a lot stronger the current way when I have Sentient, because with one space I can stick Sentient in front of Steel Singer, and that's pretty potent. Yeah, hope you're thinking about things. Well, crap. Okay. Yeah, the shards and missing decay are really through this one, but I think we're still okay. I'm looking for quick. I'm looking for like two quicks because I kind of would like to keep this husk hermit or a holdover would be fine. Minus one costers are good. I'm going to the steel shop. I don't have a lot of money, but I do have some cash here, which is good. Space is fine, question mark. I think it's just draw. I don't love it, but I think it is just draw here. We'll go left because I need the steel shop and it actually is it's affordable, right? We can do something with it. Quick is very good. We like that. We could go egg run, hard pivot. Gonna not do that. Hard pivots are very bad at 200 shards. Quick helps a lot here with Steel Singer. You could just immediately jump ship and put this on Husk Hermit and then you have a, a really good backline clear. But I think getting Steel Singer loaded is correct here. I will stick a plus 25 on Husk Hermit because he's gonna be frontlining for Chief, I suppose. Give me a Decay or Pivot here, maybe? Yeah, okay, we're gonna take the Decay or Pivot. This is not great, but it will at least do something. Because I'm not putting things with Chief here is the problem of this run. It's not even a problem, it's just the reality of what we're doing. Intrinsic. Well, how about this plus 30? I could plus 30 or restore. I have problems. How many shards do I have to take here? I can get... I have to leave in the... The problem is I have to leave in train stewards here to reach a good point. Do I really? I could just take a train steward into... into uh, what's this called? Husk Hermit here. This is interesting because a lot of people in the comments and other players who I know are pretty good tell me that I should just be throw I should be just be using train steward infusions as removals and that quote unquote 25 shards is a good deal I just really disagree with that 25 shards is extremely costly going to 100 here is a disgusting disrespect into pyre light master who just beats the face off of me I think we'd lose if I do that but I could just stick a 15 healther into husk hermit and get him through this a little bit I'll at least keep the bog flies and one train steward, I think. I'm going to stick a plus 30 healing into this restore. I think this will be good. Just increasing the density. We stay at 90. I don't want to go to 100 here or Pyre Light Master murders my face off. We'll move on. I need to do both infusions at the end here and we get to 200. If I also take like one of these monies or this artifact. So, okay. Ugh, fine. Okay, we didn't get Pyre Light Master. That's good. We like that. I don't have much damage here. Glimmer is a big deal, actually, but I can use... We'll be okay. I need this cash. We play Chief downstairs with Hermit, which is solid. Oh, this is bad. I should have taken Ember. What am I doing? 
Yikes. Okay, that's terrible news. Well, Steel Singer buddy, I guess. Here we're gonna load him up. Do our best by Hermit. That was bad. I need Ember. What was I thinking? I mean, we're gonna load up upstairs. I think it's correct to do so. The problem is, of course, Restores want to go upstairs for now, which is bad. Okay, the Razor Sharp up top is going to kill a man. That's good. That's something. I can also take this Echo Transfer. Helps out here. I can load up downstairs a little bit now, which is helpful. This will do some work. Good. It like, actually kills a guy, which is solid. Okay. Okay. Feeling better about this run now. We just put the pluses upstairs. Good. I will glimmer up here. It's solid. I can stop this five coming in with a razor sharp. I will do it. It's worth it. Good. We're at a point where I feel okay. Bottom floor is doing it. it's enough. It's not great, but it's something. I will play out two train stewards here, I believe. Just get them killed. Sure. Loads up middle. Bottom floor. Obviously, we get eaten alive here. Sucks to suck, but it is fine. We win on top, right? Totally. So what I should do now is self-kill. Well, I'm not gonna... I would like to get these regen procs. I think 77 gets it. So I'm gonna just take the echo transfer downstairs, which does some reap. I'm going to reap my own train steward to get rid of that. I'm going to put the razor sharp in the back here so we kill one guy. I get three curses next turn, which sucks, but uh, it will have to do. It sucks. I should heal here. I think it is worth it to trade this way. Yep, I'll take that damage because this is a fine trade for me. Cool. Heal, heal. Great job. Cool. Four regen. Well, we got through it much quicker than that. It's okay. We made good progress. That was a fine trade to get an extra proc in, I think. 50 damage. We're looking okay. Symphony of a Soul. Ancient Resonance. I don't think so. I don't think so. Awake. Channel Song? This is actually surprisingly good to draw out one of my dudes. I'm going to snag Channel Song. That's a good intrinsic pickup. I took that over Awake. I'm going to go left for the Magic Shop. Again, minus ones are huge value. I'm going to take removals. Remember, we want a Train Steward and both Bog Flies for a while. So we cut two Train Stewards because they are difficult to play otherwise. I'm going to take Ember Costs. Double stack, no. I'll take a minus one for sure. It's going into the restore that has big ember. Love that. Or big magic power. I will spin this. Permafrost. I think permafrost on this channel song is correct. I can hang on to it for a key turn. If I see an intrinsic, that's really good. I also want minus one into restore. I'm looking for anything to make these better. I should also buy a removal here, cutting one train steward. This leaves in one train steward and two bog flies, as I mentioned. Good. Take this money. Go to another magic shop, maybe? I'd rather take this relic. I'm going to stay under 100 here. I don't see this money as adding enough for me, so we move on. That was helpful. Armor emblem, I think we can get through this with harvesters. There's only so many enemies on the floor. I need Ember. Don't, just don't draw me both of them at once, okay? That's the real crux of my problem. Don't make me draw both of the enemies at once. That is not what I like to see. Yeah, sure, Echo Transfer up top is value. Chief just getting beaten up. It's fine. Husk Hermit, sure, champ. Let's go. I need to charge this floor a little bit. Sure, right? Now, what I should actually do is 
razor sharp out this front enemy so I get two hits into the back fellow here, right? I could also put this bog fly in. He might just get like a free extra hit, which could be enough. I think I should do that. Yeah. Okay. Bounding echoes here. I do get the glimmer. Huge value. Okay. We do some more restores. Play all the restores up here. Excellent. Now, if I... Interesting. Interesting. 20 cleave is not bad down here. Should consider that. Are we strong enough to punch through otherwise? I don't think so, actually, right? So I think we do consider the razor sharp downstairs here, which clobbers the floor a bit. Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay, that at least kills an enemy, which I think is valuable. Now we lose that man, though, unfortunately. So that sucks. Let's razor sharp upstairs. I do... Well, how's this looking? 83... I should consider reaping downstairs here. I think that's going to be a valuable enough choice. And I take the five up top. I need to remember to play consume cards, by the way. Remember, refracting lens. I'm just high priority on just playing high priority on everything else. Sure, train steward. Let's get it, bud. Why not? You can go in back here, I guess. It's fine. You do 40 damage, it's okay. I'm not expecting him to last very long. Just keep healing. Oh man, we actually get through it. Unbelievable. I will take the glimmer here. We're very strong. Okay. Good. Good. I think we get through this combat. I'm just looking for as many procs as I can reasonably get. I should reap the boss. Play out the card. It's fine. Okay. Give me heals, please. Great job. Cool. He beats the hell out of him. Excellent. Good work. All right. Mid game is looking solid here. We're up to 75 by three with the quick. That's excellent. Soul crushing guilt is probably a good card to have. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know about it, actually. Is it? Well, maybe. It's always a good card. It's just a matter of, do I want this? The thing is, I'm not really using the echoes on the top floor here. Not. It's also, it's a bad card to draw right now. I think I should probably take this, I, th I think, right? Not purple. I'm gonna take it. I think this is too good of a card to skip here. Restoring Retreat. Now that's, that's disgusting. That's the kind of disgusting we like to see. Two of these guys on the same floor? Yeah, sure, sure. I don't like Restoring Retreat, but sometimes we take these. I'm going left, Magic Shop, make things cheaper. See another holdover maybe, I don't know. Horde says, Mark of a Champion. Cursed Vines uh, means I can shrink my deck infinitely against Patient, I mean Diligent, which is great. It's also just generally very good relic. Good, good, good. Glad to see it. I'm going to drop the two uninfused razor sharps here because they are neither good infusions nor are they like anything I really want. So we drop razor sharp one, razor sharp two. Thank you, cursed vines. We're going to look at the magic shop. A plus 10. I mean, I could toss that to the restore. It's good. <laughs> I could assemble everything onto the bottom floor, technically. A little concerning, but it's true. I think Restoring Retreat does need to cost one less if I'm ever going to do anything with it, so that's important. And I'm not planning... I guess I could put Chief behind a Steel Singer. They show me an Intrinsic and I remove the Hermit. I will leave, I'm gonna leave those slots open actually. We're gonna make 
other cards free at this point. Like this restore should go to zero because this could be intrinsic permafrost, right? You know, obviously the channel song also wants intrinsic here, but fine. Fine. Well, we'll just make the restore cheaper. That's fine. I'm going to make one of these a plus 10 just so good healing is good. We'll take it. Double stack is yeah, soul crushing guilt. Double stack is pretty bloody strong. I'm going to take that. Yeah, I can afford the one ember. Hold over here. Hold over here is excellent. It goes in glimmer, right? Just super glimmer. Excellent. The minus one is also good here. I'll just put it into this purple razor sharp. It's fine, right? I should put this in the soul crushing guilt, I suppose. Man, I want like three permafrosts on this run, don't I? Jeez. Goodness gracious. I think minus one of the soul crushing guilt is good enough. Yes. I'm leery on the razor sharp. I don't actually know if I want to cast this every time, but I mean, anytime I can get this soul crushing guilt out onto the boss or onto something important, that's value. 20 consume? Nah, I don't think so. Good. Great shop, in fact. 105 shards looking positive here. Looking like we can pull that off. Okay, we are downstairs, so we're doing Hermit in front of Chief. Technically, I could do Chief in front, and then I can pull this guy forward, which is nice. I will do some charging, I suppose. There's no reason not to put down the train steward. It's a weird floor, but it's okay for the moment. Oh, the double rage is killing me, yeah? Chief, my lad, you're not looking so great. Okay. Well, bounding echoes. We have to play Steel Singer. It's important, it turns out. I'm going to ping out one of these guys. We just lose Chief here, though, which is not great, but you know it happens, I suppose, if you get the floor raged twice. Fine. Restore. Sure. Here is the glimmer. We play the cards that we have. We ping the things. Sure, sure. I may as well... Well, the tanking here doesn't actually do anything. I guess I want to load up the boss and then get one Bogfly killed. And then next turn, I will channel song out that Bogfly that I just left in and put it behind the... What is his name? Steel Singer? It's not pretty, but it's fine. I guess I don't have to do it on that floor, right? Well, I should put the purple somewhere, right? Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Sure, bud, it's okay. Here, big bog fly, good job. Cool, just do some big healing here. Load this up to the best of our ability. We glimmer here for sure. I just yank a unit, it's fine. Okay, I mean, we're looking fine at the moment. We are looking okay at the moment. I should consider strongly just soul crushing. I mean, I am going to just soul crush and guilt the boss. That's good. We glimmer. We restore. We're strong enough upstairs. It's just a true statement. I'll charge it then. And I'll toss an echo transfer in the back lad here. I'm mostly doing it just to guarantee because rage fell is terrifying. And we should respect her whenever we can. Otherwise, we're just going to shoot her fine the quick means that this cleans up a lot oh yeah this is a good turn we just do purple 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 just slam it and then we glimmer here and we're okay it's a little scary but we do get through yeah she's doing a lot of damage is kind of the real big scary thing here and you want to try to respect here is 300 damage a turn with 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 the days, I think we're fine. I'm gonna throw some Reap at her though. That's correct, I believe. Yeah. I wanna maximize my regen procs. And I do have regen procs here. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. Here, fracture her. Just to give a little bit of respect in this moment. We get through this, right? Yeah, oh God, we don't. Jeez, she's so powerful. Okay, well, soul crushing guilt, buddy. Now you screw you, fell. Screw you. Good grief. Good thing I grabbed that soul crushing guilt. She's so powerful. This is 200 shards, man. I tell you, the speed that you have to go through these, disgusting. Unbelievable. 
Unearthed Remains is a pretty good card when it's purple. It's good if I plan on doing anything with Chief, right? Which I might pl be planning on doing. I'm taking Ember here, I think. I mean, I definitely need to. Yeah. I'll take Unearthed Remains. I think that's good. It's also a good purple card in general and just consumer. I have to take Ember. I have a three coster. I, I took life into my own hands with that early draw. We go to the right because reasons. I have to do double infusions here. There's just no excuse for anything. So, Horde says, Paper Funnel? I mean, is Vapor Funnel worth more to me than Precious Plating? Yes, it is. Totally. We're going to go more in Decayer here. It's fine. Also, more HP, which I like. Removals are interesting. We do some kind of an infusion here. Spell Chain is an incredible hit for this other restore. Love to see that for sure. Henan Piercing. I mean, I guess I can put that into Restoring Retreat if I have to. What am I looking at shard-wise? We go to the left coming up. We dupe my man for 15, which takes me to 135. I can take everything here, 185. I have to take a 15 here at least. So I have to take this pack is basically what this is telling me, which means Train Steward Infusion, I believe. Is Train Steward Infusion better than Bogfly Infusion? No? Right? I mean, it's more damage to go in the back. I don't really... I mean, I'm sticking Chief in the front, so it doesn't actually matter. So I guess I'll take Bogfly Sacrifice here into Husk Hermit. It's fine. Okay. Sure, it's a removal, question mark. And now I... What? Look at the magic shop for now, finally. Permafrost, great pickup. Permafrost, restoring retreat. Yes, it's good. Minus one, make cards playable. Yes. Minus one, restoring retreat is pretty good. Am I going to see an intrinsic here? No, I don't think so. But what I should really do is put the minus one into cards I want to play every time. So I think Fracture is actually the pickup here. Yeah, just make a zero coster of that. Surge Stone, no, it's fine. Okay, that's good. Removals now. I'm going to cut almost certainly... I have to do what? A dupe takes me to 160. I can then take the 10 in piercing and the 15. And that's... Or the 25 there, so 25 is 170, 185. I have to take an infusion next floor, so don't mess that up. Okay, if you have to take an infusion, then we cut a different card here. I mean, I think I actually just cut fractures at this point. Make a little higher density of the greens. Yeah, I think it is just fractures on this moment. We will hard remove the Bogfly, Train Steward Fusion, and probably Mr. Hermit as well on this next one. But for now, we hold on to them. They're okay. I have to not take this 10 in piercing. In case I see a plus 30, I must take. And we chill. I could buy a removal now, but... I don't think that matters. I mean, is it? it's nice because the removal now is possibly the best, but one of these removals needs to be a unit. So we're gonna move on. I'll do it next floor, it's fine. Mark of Invasion. I'll take that. I have Vapor Funnel if I don't draw a Steel Singer turn one, and Steel Singer turn one beats the hell out of it if I do get him, which is fine. Cool, so I actually just let them ride. We let it ride and we play downstairs. Woof. Yeah, we let it ride. Okay. We toss a vine grasp upstairs at least. Fine. I will load up a little downstairs because every little bit matters. We'll get a train steward shot. We're okay. Sure. It's something. Paper funnel takes care of most of these fine enough. 
Okay, I would like money. Can I get money? Verdict, not likely. Bounding echoes. Vine grasp upstairs, I think, is necessary. You can get money if you vine grasp and do the fracture on collector. I'll play Mr. Steel Singer for sure. Could just leak that 20. That seems wrong. We'll play Mr. Steel Singer. I think that is correct. I will do a restore here. It's good to do so. Will I greed? Yeah, I will. I will. Charge the top floor. The rest of this goes to Vapor Funnel, which is acceptable. Okay. Bad. I'm going to take the Echo Transfer here. We're dropping in Mr. Bogfly because every little bit of damage matters. I am going to load up the top as well. How do I look now? 35 damage is... Oh my god, do I get it? I miss him by just the slightest bit. So what we do is we pull forward and we get both. Yeah, it's fine. We lose the entirety of bottom floor. Honestly, they did their best. This is fine. Eventually I draw Glimmer and the world looks better. Cool. Glimmer helps. Neat. Cool. We Glimmer for sure. We do the restore. As many of these procs as we can get. I do want to shoot something on the middle floor, please. I will play Channel Song because it turns out I value my Pyre health. I will pull... It doesn't matter. I'm going to hit them all. Sure, we shoot the big scary. Fine. All right, I think we get through this now. Glimmer helps a ton. We're okay. Behold the power of restores. They're good. Glimmer, big cleanup. Cool. Pull bad guy forward. Fine. Sure. We'll reap that floor. We chill. Okay. We get through this, I believe. All I really have to do is hit... What is it called? All I really have to do is hit the double stack thing and we're okay. Yes. We're not going to mess around. I'm going to click on Echo Transfer. I don't think that I should stop that. How badly do I need to hit this? Pretty badly. Badly enough, in fact, that I will not click Glimmer on this turn. Please? Okay. Whoa, we actually get through it? That's actually quite shocking. Well, I'm still going to Soul Crushing Gilton because I think that is a good choice. Cool, and now I can just restore and retreat to get that back. Cool, can't move. That's okay. Here you go, bud. All right, cool. All right, we made we managed to make it through a good chunk. What are we looking at? We managed to scale to a point where it helps. Oh yeah, 141 times three. That's a good solid dupe, friend. Great job. Return soul feeds really well into refracting lens if I'm looking to purge my deck. I don't think I need to, but it's not bad, right? I can still scale through Serif a little bit that way, which is fun, I suppose. It's a good card, but I don't see it being that useful for me here. If I needed extra burns, I would, in the diligent, I might consider it, but I have the power of Curse Vines, so I'm skipping it, and that's fine by me. Engraft is just solid here. I will click it. Cool. It's purple, it's green, it's everything. We go left. The run basically plays itself at this point. I look longingly at the steel shop. Thorn casing, mind hoard, and bog slime. Don't see the value in those. I'm spinning it. Iron drop cage suddenly weaponizes my restoring retreat. That's funny, but not that impressive. A minus two is actually kind of cool here. I don't mind that. I will do an Engage Pact here. We need to just load up. Behold the power of my Bogfly or something. I should purge a Fracture here. It's good. I get the minus two. Honestly, on Restoring Retreat, it makes this a little easier to set up, I suppose. We'll do it. 
And then I take the duplicate on Big Lad. Although I should re-roll this trinket shop. Just, oh, I did, never mind. I was going to say just in case because you might get a Firestone housing, but we don't. Of course, we're going to Animus of Will, Steel Singer, Duplicate. Gets me to 210. I then invest in double removals on this Train Steward Abomination. This card is bad and hard to play. And I think we give up on this Husk Hermit too. Although I guess I could buy him quick instead. And then he's actually a not terrible contribution to the run. You know what? Yeah, actually. Sure, bud. You're on the team. I'm still cutting the train steward though. That guy needs to die. This is the weirdest looking, somewhat serviceable backline thing possible. Well, okay. I do think it's just cut cards here. I'm going to cut a fracture at this point. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Burn that fracture. The rest of the cards are good, I suppose. What could I buy from this relic shop? Anything that I care about? Serrated mandibles is good enough to purchase here, I think. Drop cage. I don't think that's going to be worth it. It's not bad. Extra days, actually. I could keep it frozen. You know, maybe I will hold on to that. Yeah, actually, I think I will drop cage, actually, which is shocking, but we take it. 210 out of 100? All right, Diligent, let's see what we can do. I think we've got it, but this is a nonsense run, a bit... A little bit spooky, but we are okay. Cool. Behold, the power of Vine Grasp. Screw you, Mr. Seraph. Screw you. Spine Chief question mark? You gonna make it, champ? Maybe. I'll take Steel Singer 1 on middle, because then I don't have Ember Drain, which is pretty good. Cool. Let's just keep loading him up, I suppose. No reason not to. I could take the 1. I don't actually care about the 1, right? Yeah, we just do not care at all. Yeah, doesn't matter, because remember, I have Refracting Lens. I will get that back, and this 1 is so low impact. It's just funny. Okay, we just blast upstairs. I mean, I have Vapor Funnel, so I'm not that worried. We'll play the Bog, bog Man, I guess, downstairs. He's pretty cool. I'm gonna Fracture, and he actually does a great job, which is unreal. Weird. I will pull Scary Guy forward so he gets shot. I'm gonna Self Mutilation here. I think I will unearth remains just so that we're over the point yeah so that way we're clocking these purifiers immediately right yeah paper funnel doing huge work thank you buddy fine on middle top is still not great but that's okay actually we can yeah yank enemies i suppose there's no reason not to do it Steel Singer comes lives upstairs. That's great. He kills an enemy. We will just restore a whole bunch, I believe. I may as well fracture something downstairs. It's fine. I should chart. All the floors are looking pretty good. The main reason is because I need to daze the hell out of Diligent or whatever. Now, here's a question. What if I drop Steel Singer downstairs that's pretty good right I, I just don't see the downside to this because now I just we crunch we absolutely crunch here I believe mid floor looks scary up until you realize that I'm actually leaving this guy upstairs for the moment. We are for sure soul crushing guilting up here. Absolutely. I just work on downstairs here. I take one restore up top. This is good because it opens up the soul crushing guilt, which is huge. This is how I am beating his stealth, by the way, in case there was a question. The glimmer is enormous downstairs, by the way. We just restore the hell out of the back line here for sure. This is excellent because it weaponizes the restores that I'm putting on a Steel Singer. 
Top floor is just doing great work. I just need to redraw into... Yeah. We just need to redraw into... What is it called? A card. Soul Crushing Guilt, yes. Okay, how am I doing it? I do want to load up here, it's good. We're just gonna keep loading up here, it's solid. Vengeful Shard. I need to draw Soul Crushing Guilt, so I'm actually not gonna play this Glimmer. Okay, final wave, baby, we get it, good. Good job. Soul Crushing Guilt, victory. Cool, and we maxed out our stats. Great job. Cool. I do think there is at least value in getting one regen tick upstairs, because it will be good, and we put the rest downstairs. Great news. We just shoot. It's okay. Don't mess with it. We got it. Good. Great. Diligent. No chance. Just wait turns out, and then he beats things up. Cool. Well done. All right, cool. So that is Diligent, who was pretty terrifying. We, like I said, we came out ahead even though I ate some of those Vengeful Shards, which is pretty fun. And I think we can do something even more disgusting on this next combat. This is so weird because I almost never actually run bizarro sweepers like this. This is, oh no. Welp. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Well, we get a really good turn, except for the fact that I don't get my second Steel Singer. So this is actually a terrible turn in a lot of ways. You do Bogfly here. Mr. Hermit, you put him in front. He sweeps out the damage shields. We take the stronger Steel Singer and drop him in. And we load up the floor to the best of our ability. think so. Yikes. I'll need to make it around on another floor, but at least we can assemble some pretty nonsense stuff here. That is good. It's a really good bounding echoes, by the way. Very strong bounding echoes. I'm going to engraft in the back. We glimmer here. I just load up in the back. This is strong to do so. I will soul crush and guilt the boss, which is valuable. And then we yank. It's good. This is a strong as hell floor. Just straight up, this floor is disgusting. I'm going to channel song here because it pulls out my other lad, which is incredible. Gets him out for free. Makes him playable mid-floor, which is huge. I'm looking for him to drop in. My man needs to swing in and come in swinging. We glimmer, of course. Of course, I will just load up this floor. I'm actually gonna load up Hermit here, which is kind of funny to think about, but also just true. And I can glimmer on middle if I'm ever concerned about my man living. How's he looking? He is alive. I'm gonna shoot downstairs because I think this is good. Incoming Earth remains here, that's solid. We're loading up on Hermit. I'm going to stick this plus 32 on middleman. That'll help him. And then, whatever. It doesn't really matter all that much. And we should be cruising here now. And graft is good. Glimmer is good. How's mid floor looking? Not great. Here, buddy. Here you go. There you go. Have a nice one. That puts a bunch of damage in. We just load this floor up still. Cool. We're doing great. I mean, if I get... I just drop this man in whenever I can... Yeah, here he is. Restoring Retreat. Come in, my friend. Now this. This is Monster Train Gaming right here. My friends. Pull this guy forward and then glimmer him, which helps a bunch. And then we just shoot. We just shoot the hell out of everything. Like, you, like you've never shot before. And we Soul Crushing Guilt the boss. It's good. Even though that does reduce my damage overall, it's worth it. For the shot. And then we're just, we're sending it. I mean, this is, this is monster train, my friends. We're, we're going all in here. This floor is incredible. This floor just obliterates. Yeah, this floor wins this next turn, right? Yeah, this, this floor just trounces monster train the video game. 
incredible. I love it. Look at that. Even even Channel Song had his day. I'm not gonna mess with it. We win. Crunch, 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 crunch. Beat up this man's feet. Did it pre relentless. Amazing. Cool. So outside of that little hiccup on ring two where I had to think backwards from how I would at 100 shards because of how high we were, this run was very strong. And restoring retreat, man, it's going on the thumbnail because it's it's just that good, it turns out. Pretty wild. I'm surprised we did as well as we did, but hey, we take these. So run summary, let's do it. Cool. Steel Singer, my man, really good, it turns out. Holdover Glimmer, really good, it turns out. We have we have missed one holdover, got the second one. I think it was okay. I didn't actually need it, but it was nice to have. Diligent got bodied by Cursed Vines, and then it turns out, I mean, I almost skipped this soul-crushing guilt. Think of how stupid I would have been for skipping that. I, I didn't even, like, discuss all of the points. I was just like, is this actually good? Of course it is. Of course it is. And the double stack was huge here. It essentially enabled me to win Diligent comfortably. So uh, don't underestimate cards like this. Just click them. They're smart. I'm glad I reasoned into this. That was a good choice. Channel Song did great work. A zero cost restoring retreat was actually huge. That allowed me to assemble a disgusting floor one. And shockingly, this stupid Husk Hermit. This thing is terrible. And yet... In this particular run, because I had the chief, it made sense. It could clear back lines. It was fine. It did okay. I did take my life into my own hands a little bit by taking Ember second and not first. That's a, a little bit concerning, but we did get through it. And look, all of these steel shots, these magic shots were huge. So many minus ones, so many upgrades. It's really good when you can see a run like this, where you're just loading it up. Really strong overall. We cut it down to what we wanted to do. Just generally a very well-played run, I think, with some interesting choices. The tech random sweeper with 60 HP and a bog fly infusion. Okay, sure, why not? But uh, yeah, fair enough. That brings us up to four wins on the series again. Nice to see it. So yeah, hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks. Hiya.